table all complete uh, as far as putting it together. Uh, seemed to turn out very good and sturdy. You can't, can't even shake it. So it's a pretty good way to uh, construct a table or a workbench just to using glue and screws. Um, it's pretty quick, Not doesn't take too long. And this, it even turned out to be fairly level on the floor. Doesn't rock or anything, so I'm pretty pleased with that. So what we're going to do now is get the little angle brackets and uh, fasten them to the around the perimeter of the uh, table skirt to uh, be able to fasten the top down. So I'll get set up to do that now. Okay, I've got all my uh, stuff ready to put these angle brackets on. You're going to use these little L brackets to uh, fasten the top down and mount them like even like this and I'm not going to measure I'm just going to kind of guess where to put them along here and uh, try to get them flush with the top we'll use uh, some number six three quarter flathead screws I've got the corner brackets on all four corners now and I think I'll put uh, one more on each side in the middle just to uh, hold the middle of the top down. Just going to eyeball the center. Okay, that takes care of those uh, brackets for, for the top. Now we've got to do the same thing to uh, attach the bottom shelf on the uh, bottom uh, stretchers. Well, I've got the uh, table up on the workbench again. I decided before I put the brackets on for the uh, uh, shelf, I would go ahead and uh, paint the table, make it look a little nicer. So I'm going to put a coat of primer on it and then uh, 
then we'll put a coat of paint on it and then we'll get back to putting the brackets on and getting the shelf and the top ready. Got some leftover primer here. It's an exterior latex primer. Should have enough to do this with. Well, I think that's going to do it for the uh, primer coat. We'll let that set about two hours. And then come back and put a coat of white paint on it. It should look right nice. Well, it's been about four hours, so the primer should be good and dry. I decided against the uh, white paint, so I went ahead and got some uh, Colonial Red Gloss. I think that'll make it real pretty, and it'll have a white top and white shelf on it, make it really not look nice. Shouldn't have to stir this much because I had them shake it.
Well, I think I've got it all. Although, I believe I'm going to have to put a second coat on because it didn't cover too good over the uh, white primer. So we'll let it dry a couple hours and probably put a second coat just on the outside part that you see and not under the uh, stretchers and all where you don't see. So we'll let it dry and then we'll come back to it and maybe flip it over and paint it on the outside. Well, we've got the table flipped over right side up, sitting on the workbench, getting ready to put the second coat of uh, red paint on the outside edges, inside the legs, outside the skirt, uh, hide some of that uh, white that showed through. Well, the camera quit on me before I got quite finished with the second coat. Uh, the memory card was full, but I was almost uh, finished anyway. Just had that last side to go, so you didn't miss anything really. Um, so the second coat of red paint is on now. I'm let, letting it dry now. Then we're going to put the uh, rest of the angle brackets inside the uh, bottom stretchers to attach the shelf to. So until this thing dries, there's nothing more I can do right now. Uh, so we'll come back to it later, put the brackets in, and then we'll have to trim the uh, top and the shelf down to put it in. Well, the paint's been dry for about an hour, or a little over an hour. And it's uh, not fully dry, but it's not tacky or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting the uh, brackets on for the shelf. Well, there we have all the uh, brackets in for the uh, shelf. So we'll uh, move the uh, table off the uh, workbench and set it in the floor and uh, start trimming the top and the shelf to fit. 